Today I want to show you how you can change the color of any object in Adobe Lightroom. I'm also going to show you how you can change the color of white and black objects. I'm using Lightroom Classic, but you can do all of this in Lightroom CZ as well. With your photo open in the develop module, you can scroll down to the edges L panel. If all you need to do is tweak the colors a bit, you can do it in here. Just open up the hue tab and pick the color you want to tweak and slide the slider to the left or right. Now the issue with the edges L panel is the amount of tweaks that you can do for the hue of your object. So with a red object, you can make it yellow or purple, but that's all you can do. And the second issue with the HSL panel is that it's going to affect the entire image as a whole, so you can tweak only the object of your image. So what you have to do is go up to the masks tab. And in this photo, I only want to tweak the can and leave the background as it is. And if you have a clear subject, the easiest thing you can do is just click on subject and Lightroom will do its best job at selecting the subject of your image. And it usually does a very good job. Lightroom has a ton of different masking tools for you to choose from to select the object in your image. But the most powerful one that gives you the absolute most control is the brush tool because you can manually go and select every pixel if you want to. So with any issues that I have here, I would use the brush tool to refine those issues. Now with the basic red overlay I can't really see anything that I'm doing so I'm just gonna change it to like a yellow here and then zoom in to see if we have any issues and the edge here isn't really too well selected so with my mask selected I'm just going to add a brush selection and then I'm just gonna paint over this edge with the auto mask selected so that it won't go over the edge. The auto mask setting will make Lightroom recognize the edges of your object and only paint inside of those edges if it can recognize those well enough and it usually does a pretty good job with that. So having the auto mask selected is a very good idea especially if you're only creating a rough mask. You can spend as much time as you ever want to refining the mask for your object but once you've selected it most of the hard work is actually done. And also keep in mind that you can and always go back to refine the mask further if you ever need to later on. But now that we have our object selected, it's time to change the color of that object. So I'm just gonna move the masks tab out of the way here and then scroll down to this hue slider. And I'm also going to deselect the show overlay to see what we're actually doing. So all you need to do is change the hue slider here. And now you're changing the color of your object. And you can also go ahead and change the exposure and the saturation or any of these other sliders as well to really make the color exactly what you want it to be. So just play around with all of the settings that you have here to make the color of your object exactly what you want it to be. So I'm just going to make this dark blue uh, turquoise color for this can. And now I can see that we have some issues with our mask right here. So I can just go ahead and select my brush here and then paint more over this to refine the mask that we had. So changing the color of an object is really that simple, but there's one more thing that you need to know when changing the colors of white or black objects. So let's move on to a white object. So here we have this photo of this white car and I've already done the mask for it. So I've selected the car only. And once again, I'm going to deselect the show overlay. And this time, if I change the hue, we're really not doing much to this car. This is because the saturation of a white object is basically zero. So there's no color in that object that we can change the hue of. So we have to add that color into the object, but we can do it really easily by going down where it says color, then clicking on this little box and that may trigger your overlay. So don't worry about that. Just choose a color that you want and the overlay will turn off. So I'm gonna go with this mint green and you can see that we're still not adding very much of that color into the object because there's not too much data in this bright white object. So what we can do is go up to exposure and just bring down our exposure a bit. And now we're turning our white car into a green car. So that's how you change the color of a white object, but it's a little bit harder with black objects. So for the next example, we have this black lamp here and I've already masked this one out as well. So if you do the same thing, adding the color in there and then tweaking the exposure, this time you have to go up because we're working with a dark object. So let's go up with the exposure. You can see that we're kind of messing up the texture of this black object. And if you go too high up with the exposure of a black object in your image, you're actually introducing a lot of noise and artifacts into your image, which will ruin the texture of your object. So how we can battle this is by using the contrast and the black sliders to kind of bring back a little bit of that black. So you can't really make a black object a bright purple without it turning into an ugly mush. So you're kind of limited with black objects. 
but basically this is how you change the color of a black object in Lightroom. You could do a lot better job in Photoshop, but that is for a whole different tutorial. And that is how you can change the color of any object in Adobe Lightroom. Now Lightroom really shouldn't be your number one choice for a photo manipulation like this, even though you can do stuff like this in there, but Photoshop is a lot more powerful if you want to really manipulate your photos by, for example, changing the color of an object or something like that. But that is all I have for today. So thank you all for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Shoo.